Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. <clears throat> so we are a new Cimarron and Logan dealer, but we do take trade-ins, we do buy trailers as well. So if you're looking to upgrade into something and you have a trade, we can help you out there. Uh, if things change, or if you got a trailer sitting around you want to turn into cash, we do buy trailers as well. So behind me is a 2020 Lakota Bighorn Four Horse Living Quarters double slide out trailer. So this customer actually traded this unit in on a motorhome. They wanted to kind of go a different route, go with a bumper pole and a motorhome, get a little bit more space, uh, and then traded this trailer in. So this is a 23 foot short wall with a double slide, like I mentioned. But before we kind of get into the trailer a little bit, let me tell you about what we do from a trade purchased on our used trailers side of it when we do bring them in. So one of the very first things we do is we'll wash the trailer, take it up, get it acid washed or citrus washed, depending on if it's a mill finish versus a polished finish type setup. Uh, we want it to, to be as clean and, and ready for you to go down the road as far as that's concerned. Then we look at tires. We want tires to be all matching. We want good tread. We want them to be within five years of age based on the date code that's on the sidewall. If it doesn't meet any of, the, any of those criteria, then we go ahead and put a brand new set underneath it. And then we have two different shops here. So for instance, this is a living quarter, so it'll go through both shops where we're using trailers. We'll just go through our chassis side. And on the chassis side, we'll go ahead and realign every trailer. They're no different than passenger vehicles. Things can happen. They can get knocked out of alignment, bad tire wear. Then you're having to deal with issues as you're uh, traveling you know, getting stopped on the side of the road, having to change tires, that type of a scenario. And tires aren't, aren't cheap right now. So uh, we try to get these trailers running down the road as best possible. Uh, then from there we go through, you know, this one has an onboard generator, so we service that. And everything safety is automatic. Then I'll act actually go over to our household shop, our motorhome side of it, and have the living quarters gone through. We service all appliances. Uh, try to go through and make sure that this coach is, is ready for you to use so we water test it, check LP. Again, everything safety is automatic. And then is there some cosmetic stuff? You know, is there a rip divider pad or does some uh, trim need to be readjusted and, and put back in place? Those type of things will go through. We're not going to tell you it's a brand new trailer because it's not. It is a used trailer, but we're going to try to get it in its best condition for you to go enjoy rather than having issues or things that need to be taken care of. Uh, and then we can say, yep, generator's been serviced. Uh, appliances have been serviced. If a customer says, I've, I've serviced a generator two months ago, but they can't provide any records for it, well, we go ahead and do it. That way we know when you get it from us, it's been done here at, at our shop. <clears throat> so this is a big trailer. So I wanna give you kind of some specs on it before we get into it. So the official empty weight on this trailer is 18,740 pounds. Tongue weight is 6,360 pounds. That's about 34% when you calculate it. It's 42 foot on the floor, it's eight foot wide, and it is eight two tall. So it's an extra tall trailer. It was built that way. So this was a custom built trailer. So from that standpoint of weight and capacity with it being a triple axle with 8K uh, rubber torsion axles, you know, you need to take a look at your tow vehicle and make sure you're within those radians in order to handle this type of a trailer. We all, we have those specs online for you as well, so you can take a look at those. Uh, it, you don't have to come back and reference the video if you don't want to. You can go to the, the actual link to the trailer and we'll have all that information. So let's get into this because this thing has a lot and again has a lot of upgrades. So it is a very cold morning here in Colorado. It does have the enclosed front end, but when it got sprayed off, that enclosure right there is a little froze shut, so we can't get in there and show you. We will have pictures of that. This was actually upgraded to 40 pound LP bottles. So come standard with 20s, they didn't even go the 30 route, they went straight to 40 pounds. So you have two 40 pound LP bottles. You have your dual jacks. This is a big trailer. You need dual jacks from the stability standpoint, as far as that's concerned. Also, they've got the quick release pop-up uh, hitch on this so you can really just once it sets on the ball it'll lock but then there's just a cable to pull to go ahead and release it so that's an upgrade on this trailer as well I talked a little bit about those axles with it being a triple axle uh, Lakota's come with Lippert axle standard this was actually upgraded to 
Dexter rubber torsion axles, 8K axles, and then upgraded the tires, which I'll show you here in, in a little bit when we get into it. Like I mentioned, a 23 foot short wall. So this is a good size living quarters we're looking at here. As we get over here on this passenger side, you'll notice we have the electric awning. So it's really easy to push the button. Out it comes. They've got exterior speakers. So it's a great place to entertain out here. Uh, and then as we get into the trailer, <clears throat> we're gonna show you some cool stuff on this one as far as this double slide setup. So as we step in here, I've got this slide out that I'll show you here in a minute, but we'll talk a little bit about what, what's kind of up front here, because this is a very unique setup. Very first thing is you're gonna notice we have this front bathroom. So it's located ahead of the slide and against the gooseneck drop wall. You've got your toilet, your radius shower with a skylight, a lot of storage as far as cabinets in there are concerned. Bathroom vanity with a lot of counter space in there. So even though it's, you know, most, most bathrooms take up the whole width of the trailer, you know, this one here is only gonna be about, you know, three quarters, two thirds of it. But with that being said, they've lengthened a little bit, as you can see, to get you that counter space and give you a little bit more room to kind of function in that area. And then has a pocket door, so we're not having to step around a door getting in and out of it. You know, it just slides into the wall and then closes shut as well. And then you've got some steps going up into the gooseneck area to the first of two bedroom areas that we're gonna show you on this trailer. So nice steps transitioning up there. More storage up front. Bed, you know, those mirrors up in the front, give it, make it feel like it's got a lot more depth in there, making it feel a little bit bigger. And then you also have a flat screen TV up there in that area. Now that front area is just gonna have a curtain that slides shut. But then as we transition back here into this living area, you've got the big slide out, the nine foot slide. You've got a dinette seating area. This will also break down into a bed. So we have our gooseneck area, bed area, this bed area here, and I'll show you another one here in a second. But you've got storage throughout. You've got storage here on the back side of this slide out as well. They've got clothes rod in the top one. So if you wanted to just hang some clothes, you've got a shelf there on the bottom as well. But then this kitchen area is really interesting as well. Because what we have is, we've got your big refrigerator freezer. I mean, in this size of a trailer, let's be real. We're, we're traveling, we're gonna be probably traveling with a lot of people. And we're probably gonna be traveling for a good amount of time. We wanna have that, that capability of having freezer space and a lot of kitchen space as well in the refrigerator area. Instead of a microwave, you go in with a convection oven, but also this has a three burner cooktop and you don't see this very often unless it is a special order trailer, but you actually do have an oven on this trailer. A lot of times you'll just see a convection oven with a two burner cooktop, but they went ahead and went three burner oven and then a convection oven as well. And then take a look at the kitchen sink here. You know, nice stainless, it's wide and deep. That's one thing that we've really put a lot of emphasis on our inventory trailers is, you know, we want a lot of, uh, you know, area as far as the sink goes. We want it to be deep. We don't want a real shallow and small one. We understand you're gonna be washing dishes. We don't have a dishwasher here. So you can wash some dishes in here. You got some more counter space. You can dry some items, but it, it gives you more counter space, especially with this recessed kind of glass top on this as well. And then you've got additional storage behind the refrigerator area. And then you've got dual zones. I'll show you here in a second, but you've got dual zones. So we've got the capability to run, you know, entertainment up in this front area, 
off of this touch screen and then there'll be another one in the back zone as well one other thing is, is because of the added height here you see this recessed you know area where they've got a fan so you actually do have a ceiling fan this is a 50 amp service trailer so we've got dual acs you know it's ducted so we can kind of manipulate airflow throughout this whole cabin i mean we're trying to get air, air whether it's cool air warm air up into the nose we've got a uh, front bathroom we've got this and then we've got another area behind me so to be able to circulate air with these fans with the duct is really important from that standpoint you've got a pocket door going into the second bedroom area so with this one here they opted for the second slide out and then again as you see the bed is in the slide so you have two full bedroom areas in this trailer so again if you're traveling with a lot of people want a little bit more space you've got that capability now this is also uh, set up from the standpoint of an uh, in command system so you have the capability of 4g and wi-fi so if you're wanting to travel and work out of this you've got that capability as well but as you can see a lot of storage here pull out drawers cabinets i mean they they try to really utilize a lot of this space there's that second touch screen for this zone as far as entertainment goes another flat screen tv back here so you've got three flat screen tvs one in this bed area, one up in the front, up in the nose, and then one in the living space as well. More storage behind me, so more closets. You've got storage above the bed itself. And then this guy actually pops up and you've got additional storage underneath the bed. Maybe it's additional bedding, maybe it's some additional clothes, just items like that that you're traveling with. So that can go underneath the bed there. And then you've got a pass-through door so you can go into the stall area. Maybe you want to use it as a mudroom as well. You can kick some dirty boots off and then come in. But as you can see, real big area, <clears throat> real cool setup and unique setup with those dual slides, dual bed areas. You don't see that very often. Um, again, unless it's a custom build, which this one was. Uh, and again, just wanted to go with the motorhome and traded this in. We've got that capability because we do have a motorhome department. We can kind of cross sell. We also sell used trucks and new haulers here. Uh, so if you're in the market for this type of a trailer and you say, hey, I want to upgrade into a hauler. Well, we have some new and used of those as well. So we can help you out there. So here's a good look. You've got graphics, you've got the frameless windows. Uh, you're starting to see more frameless windows on a lot of manufacturers nowadays. It does give a cleaner, sleeker look to the trailer, a little bit different look as well. Um, you know, really trailers, trailers have evolved, but you know, we haven't reinvented the wheel by any means, but some of these smaller things that we've done over the last couple of years, I think have really dressed these trailers up uh, from that standpoint. They have the polished, lower extrusion on this trailer so you don't want to acid wash it you want to citrus wash this wash this trailer because acid will burn it give it a smokier look and then you got to repolish it so again just a citrus wash like i mentioned three 8k dexter rubber torsion axles again an upgrade over the the lippert that's standard and then they actually upgraded into goodyear 17 five wheels and tires so a lot heavier duty running gear underneath this trailer uh, as far as the axles itself, the tires itself. Um, but, you know, again, we got to look at the overall weight, what transfers to the truck. So I'm very happy they went with the, the Dexter 8Ks from that standpoint. And also they usually put like a 14 ply tire on these. So these are upgraded as well. You see the integrated pod up there. So again, it gives it, again, another sleek look to the trailer rather than the pod just sitting on top. So you have hay storage ahead of a generator box at the back. That is a gas Onan 5,500 watt generator. Because this is 50 amp service, we need an upgraded uh, power source as far as the generator goes. A 4K is not gonna do what you want to this. So we need to go with a bigger generator. 
But this generator's running as we're doing this, and you can hardly hear it. So those real quiet, micro quiet Onan generators, it is a nice touch from that standpoint. So again, we went extra tall, 8.2 tall. When we actually get into these stall areas, those integrated pods actually drop the roof a little bit. So the, the height in the stall area is actually seven foot 11 inches. But the rest of the trailer is 8.2, but again, because of that integrated, it drops a little bit. So with that being said, trailer being taller, the axle articulation, they went 22 degrees down, so it kind of picked the box of the trailer up. When they roll axles down, it picks it up. When they roll them up, it kind of drops it. But they actually, you know, very smartly when they were building this, they actually extended this ramp four more inches because we picked the trailer up a little bit. We wanted this ramp to be longer. And the reason why longer is better in this scenario is it extends out farther. When we're dealing with these angles, if it's a shorter, this ramp's going to be steeper. So it's harder for the horses getting on and off to where if you extend it longer, it reaches out farther and it's not as steep getting into this stall area. So as you come into the stall area, this back stall is a touch wider. This will also telescope down. <laughs> Again, it's a little frozen this morning. I think we're in the single digits here. So this guy will pop up and slide over and it'll actually go closer to the wall. So it opens this area up a little bit more. So you're not set at just this angle right here for horses making this transition. So what we'll try to do is we'll try to get some good pictures and put those online as well for you when that is, when it gets a little warmer and we get that broke down. But airflow dividers, they upgraded to those, padded dividers as well. At your first stall, you have your stud divider that goes to the floor. So maybe it's additional storage up here. Uh, you don't want to worry about items getting back into additional horses at the back or you've got somebody that you want to keep separated. And then this is extended up over the hip as well with the airflow bars is going up and over the hip of a horse. But again, if you're using it for additional storage, you could, you could stack items clear up to the ceiling basically so you don't have to worry about them getting underneath horses. You have drop windows on hip wall, drop windows on head wall as well, I'll show you. LED lights here on the inside. Because it is an integrated pod, that pod's literally right up against this. So it's, it's lined and insulated, but you don't have roof vents because that pod's right there. To where if you set a pod on top of a trailer, there's usually a foot to it or a leg that'll pick it up off the, the, the roof of the trailer so you can actually use some roof vents there. But on these here, you're not going to. But you have drop windows, airflow dividers, and then drops on the head so you can create a lot of airflow through here. You even, on the head grills, they went airflow as well. Now, because this is a rear side load here, the very popular full width rear tack. These have been fantastic sellers for us. They're really sought after. People like them from the standpoint of all that additional storage without really adding a lot of length to the trailer as opposed to a mid-tack. Because really only what we're doing is we're just adding a couple feet on our short wall behind where the horses load for this tack room to where on a mid-tack you're doing it the full width of the trailer on each side so it lengthens it a little bit more. Dual doors, blanket bars on each, brush trays on each, everything's carpeted. So are the doors, the partition wall, your bridle hooks, everything's carpeted behind it. So you don't have that tack swinging against, you know, that aluminum making a lot of noise. So it deadens it and it's not scuffing everything up. Four saddle pads. But as you can see, a lot of storage, a lot of floor space there as well. The other good thing from a safety standpoint is, look, if somebody rear ends the back of this trailer, you know, at least they've got some tack room area to get through to before they even get to the horses. So we do like that from a safety standpoint there. There's a good look at that Onan generator up top there in that box. And then they've got a safety fence there. And then the ladders on the back side of the left hand door. So it is a gas generator. So our, our fill is actually right here on driver's side right behind the last horse there. 
and it actually goes into the mangers. So you have three manger doors for additional storage as well. There's a good look at your drop windows on your head side and jail bars. So your jail bars will fold down as well. And then ahead of that is our escape door. So again, if we're using that as a mud room or additional storage and transit, and you got your three head on there, two head on, whatever, and you're not utilizing this first stall, you can get it in and out. Uh, it does have a step jumping in there as well. And it has a drop window in that as well. So there's a good look at that slide. You've got the cover awnings on it, the graphics. Again, those frameless windows, those are really sharp. So again, this is a 2020 Lakota Bighorn Four Horse Living Quarters, 23 foot short wall, double slide, double bedroom setup. Again, very, very unique trailer. So if you're interested in it, I'm gonna give you the stock number for reference. That is 5U220168. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. Again, we do take trades, we do buy trailers. We'll be happy to look at your trade if you're looking to upgrade into this. If you've got a truck that can handle this, fantastic. If you wanna look at what we have for bigger trucks that can handle something like this, we can help you out there as well. So our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.